when you have a child with scoliosis. What typically happens if you're lucky it gets caught before it needs surgery? And the parent ends up at the pediatrician's office, which usually refers them to an orthopedist's office. And the orthopedic surgeon really has no game plan unless they need surgery. So um, he says, we're going to just keep an eye on it. Now they're going to worry for a year, which is one of the next images. Scoliosis is not a linear problem. It's not a problem that, you know, if it's staying steady, it will stay steady. And if it's getting worse, it will continue to get worse. It has spurts, and the spurts are almost always correlated to growth. So there's going to be this thing coming up, the adolescent growth spurt, where the problem usually goes berserk. So that's when the kids grow the fastest. And because the standard uh, process for monitoring a curve is to monitor it once a year, a kid can grow three inches in a, you know, in a half a year. Certainly in a, in a quarter, we see kids growing an inch commonly. So a kid grows an inch just in three months. In a year, a kid could grow two, maybe three inches during a really rapid growth spurt. So between those x-rays, you could go from, oh, we're fine, to, oh no, we're at surgical threshold. The point I'd like to make is, well, watching, if you're watching a problem and you're checking it once a year, are you really watching it? If I told you I was going to leave my house and I want you to keep an eye on it, and you checked it once a year, would you be watching the house? And they're doing the same thing, and why are they only watching it once a year? To watch it requires using a ionizing radiation that's damaging to someone's health. So when they watch it, well, they go, well, you need to watch it to see if it's going to get worse, but they only watch it once a year because it's bad for the kid. So that's why I personally am so bullish on MRI, standing MRI. Because what's the penalty for taking an upright MRI of the spine? There is no health penalty. There's none. So now, if we want to watch it, if we wanted to, we could watch it once a week, once a month, every few months, and we We've stuck to the quarterly because that tends to be enough. If a kid grows an inch and a quarter, we're getting another image. One of the keys, and I like to say one of the secrets to our success, is that we watch it much more closely. And we can watch it more closely without harming their health because of a completely radiation-free imaging technology. Both Mike and I have daughters with scoliosis. Do you have any x-rays he's done on his daughter? None. He's done it all with MRI. And I've done one or two on my daughter, and we've used low-dose x-rays, and then we've used about 16 MRIs. It's easy to figure out what we ought to be doing for all our patients when we know what we do for our daughters. Why wait six months to a year to check to see how scoliosis is doing when your child can grow an inch in a month or two?